I have nightmares about that still. I bet you do. So, so I don't put, I don't wish that on nobody. No, I would not as well. I was, I was brutally raped when I was 16 years old and I don't wish that upon anyone, but I was also very drunk. And I thought that I, all the things that I had learned and I taught, like I literally, it took me a long ass time to realize it wasn't my fault and I did not deserve that. And that's sad, right? Like, that's nope. just something so going through traumatic experiences like that is something that led me to becoming who I am today. Right. So then, you know, everybody has their life experiences. Everyone has their most worst experience they ever went through. And I feel like those should all be equal. I don't wow. feel like it could, it could be literally barely any, like my sister, my sister, her worst experience is ridiculous. And I, I honestly can't even, it's just, it has something to do with her kid. And I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. That's horrible. I feel so bad for you, but it's like, I can't judge you for that. Like I don't to her face and I would never do that to her face and I would never do it anyways. It's just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone has that feeling of experiencing their worst experience. Right. In their own way. Right. I yep. feel like that is the best way to be able to empathize with people. Like, I will never know what it's like to be black. And I never try to say that I would ever know what it's like to be black. Yeah. You know, I just, I try to empathize as much as I possibly can. Well, I, I, I appreciate you, man. Like I said, I, I, I thank you for your support. Um, I, I, I hope that you continue to support me and uh, hope we'll talk again soon, my friend. Always. Have a great day. All right. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. talk you feel yeah, yeah. And I, 
on TV and talk out and give them to them how it's supposed to go. So we so they can understand it and we can understand it. And that's the gift I have. A lot of people, a lot of people that work on TV, only one one demographic can understand them. When I, everybody can understand me, and that's just a gift God gave me because I've been I've been I come from the slums and I've seen success too. But I've never, I, but I've remained the same person the whole time. I ain't never changed at all. So. Right. When I I can speak for both sides, so I'm just giving them something that they ain't never seen, bro. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it's raw. it ain't nothing practiced. Obviously, I educate myself. I do my homework and I study a lot of stuff. But at the same time, it's all a gift, right? And and, and I'm just doing everything from the heart. And I got confidence in myself, bro. And that's the biggest part. As long as you got confidence in yourself, it's gonna come out all right. Yeah, because it's funny because, you know, uh, me and RJ talk a lot. And uh, it's like, I'm the point, man, like, I'm the point, like, I'm 26, bro. So, like, I'm not the quick to jump out there. Like, when people say who want to ask questions, like, I'm going to ask questions what I've been paying attention to. Like, because, I, like I said, bro, it's it's kind of tough. And I respect you a lot because you're doing a lot of talking for for uh on a lot of platforms, bro. So all I can do is when I see you on live or see you do this or you make announcements, all I do, I just listen, bro. Cause I, I don't, I don't feel like I'm in that place where I need to speak on a whole lot. I'm just, you know, I'm just learning from you and learning for everybody who been here long on, on this earth longer than I have. You feel what I'm saying? Man, well, let me so, tell you, I'm learning too. I don't have all the answers and I don't know, I don't know at all, but I'm learning too. But I'm leading with my heart and nine out of 10 times, my heart going to lead me in the right direction. You know, and people that know me, that know me, they know I stand for everybody and I love everybody and I don't have no hate in my heart. And everybody that I came across in my life know that. So that's why so many people following me. And being in this position, I know that it's going it's people coming after me. I'm getting death. I've been getting death threats since my first interview about my brother. Wow. You know what I'm saying? My girl getting death threats. But I know, but I know I'm built for this shit and I know why. Because they've never seen a black man with no college education stand up and have 18 countries in all 50 states protest with him for justice and equality. They scared of that. All races. They've never seen that before. So I know what I'm doing is going to offend a lot of people, but I'm built for it, bro. And I yeah. and thank Believe in. You got everything in you right now, my brother to be successful and to achieve anything you want to achieve in your life. It's in you already. You don't have to get out that car and have somebody put pat you on the back or put a battery in your back for you to feel like you can be all you can be, bro. You got it in you right now as you on live with me. Don't let nobody yeah. tell you different. Yeah, like I said, Stag, you know, and I appreciate you chiming in with me, man, because it's like, it's like every day, man, it's like you give me the confidence. Like, when you be like, when you be you be speaking your mind, bro, you be like, man, I just it's just like you wish somebody to set you up so you can just speak your mind, then they'll know where you coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like you it's you can't be quiet no more, bro. Like you gotta watching you, bro, nah, ain't, ain't no, you can't be quiet no more, bro. Nice. You gotta you gotta speak. Like you just gotta tell it like it is, bro. I mean, that's what I learned from you. Like, it could be you can talk about anything, bro. I'm always learning, like, okay, he's speaking on this. Okay, this is how he responded. Because every time you do your interviews, bro, it's like you, you ain't nervous. You ready to go. I ain't scared, bro. I, and, and that's the thing. I'm not scared. Some things that I say might not come out correct. And it might, it might, and, and, it might, and people might twist my words. But everything I'm saying, I know my heart is right. You know what I'm saying? And I know what I'm doing right. And then again, what people, don't, what, what people are better realize and not highlighting, people not realizing what I'm risking. People not realizing the time that I'm missing for my kids fighting for something bigger than me. People don't realize I'm spending all my money flying from state to state doing all this stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't want no credit for that because I know at the end of the day, when I die, my life meant something. My brother George Floyd, his, his life gonna mean something. And I'm fine with dying for that. I'm fine with dying for my people. I, I don't feel comfortable living here Knowing that my people are being mistreated, dog. Right. Knowing I had a great life. Knowing I'm sitting in a nice house. I can't live like that, bro. Yeah, I feel you. I can't live yeah. like that. 
I have a chance to affect something, if I have, have a chance to affect change in any type of way, I'm going to die behind it. Yeah, I respect you on that. Like I said, I want to give a shout out to uh, Paul Boy too, man. I don't know him personally, but I've been paying attention to what he be saying. Like, I remember that night when y'all was on live, you and him was on live with each other, and he was speaking how it was when he was in the hood and stuff like that. So, like I said, man, I'm always listening, bro. It's like, and then I appreciate you too because you you telling all, you giving all the business out. Some Some people are real private and stuff, but you actually – you throwing everything out there for it to be a teacher moment. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you on that too. Cause I mean, a lot of people don't, when they private, they don't want to tell all their business, but every chance you get stuck when you're on live, bro, you always telling it everything. So I'm like, man, I appreciate that, bro. Man, what, what you say is what you get with me, man. I always feel free to chime in, bro. I'm going to continue to pray for you, bro. Make, make sure you stay in touch too. Oh yeah, uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm I, I'm gonna hit you on your DM because I got some stuff coming up and I want your support. So, uh, you don't mind that? Nah, just hit me up and let me know. All right, and then also before we leave, how the family doing? GG, uh, Tammy, Sarah, I'm, little, little the queen. <laughs> ask you, man, everybody doing good. GG was just out here, her, and Roxy was just out here. They back in Houston now, man. But. She's slowly picking her spirits up, man. We're doing everything I can we can to keep her happy, bro. Thanks for asking. Hey, no problem, man. Just real recognize real, man. That's all, man. Yes, sir, bro. All right, bro. I hit you up, bro. All right, have a good one, dog. All right, later. Peace. Hold up, y'all. Let me find somebody else. SJ, what's good? What's good, SJ? My God, what's good, my brother? I'm good, man. How you doing these days? Everything good? Man, I'm blessed, man. I, you know, just uh, taking it day by day, trying to continue to do the right thing. What's your name? My name's David. David, nice to meet you, bro. So can I tell you a story real quick? Talk no, to No me. controversy here, just truths. So we sure. live different We live different lives. I grew up in New York City. I lived here my whole life, privileged life, 100%. Went to private school, the whole thing. Um, Jewish. Family's Israeli, the whole thing. Travel there all the time, been there all the time. But I'm also an individual, right? Just like you. We all individuals. So I protest with Black Lives Matter in New York. I live near where the mayor lives. So I go to his mansion on Thursday. Uh, Thursday night I was there recently. Just at protest and stuff like that because I believe in it, obviously. Black Lives Matter is just fucking common sense. Sorry the language, but it's common sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah, it's common sense. Everyone deserves equal rights, right? regardless of race, religion, anything. So, and you preaching that hard and it's respected among every person who has a brain, right? But at the same time, like, and not to harp on it, but any means, but like when you defend something that someone said about a person like Hitler, it, it just for a moment draws into question of like, well, I believe what you're preaching. I believe that what you're saying is the truth. Black lives matter. All people deserve to be equal rights, right? That's fact. And you also need to realize that, like, the words you're saying are obviously, like, under a microscope. Like you said, everyone's twisting your shit, which is unfair to you. But at the same time, like, words can hurt people. And, like, I think that's what – it was not your intention, but those words still hurt. And I don't think they're facts. I don't think that quote is facts. We all individuals, not all people are the exact same. Right? And just like, they're bad white people. These cops are terrible people. They're white people, right? They're terrible, but they're also good people that are protesting with you. So we can't lump everyone into one category. And that's what's difficult about all this stuff is, is breaking out the good individuals and taking them away and realizing, hey, they're good people too, but they're also terrible people. Right. And that's the struggle I have with 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 the kind of live you did the other day. That's just the trouble I had with it. But I get what you're saying also that we all need to be in this together. And Jews are also minorities. I mean, we've been oppressed before. We continue to be. Antisemitism is still 
rampant in this country and across the world. You know that. And I understand Black Lives Matter is what's going on right now. And we need to keep that going on because it's extremely important. But let's not step away from the fact that others are feeling this as well. I acknowledge it. Like, let's focus on this Black Lives Matter because this is a moment and we need to harp on it and we need to focus on it. But let's also not take away from the fact that other people are feeling it as well. I agree. Yeah, so that's that's why it upset us. Let, let me personally. Say this to you. One, I've never dis- displayed any type of hate to any race my whole life. I agree. And, and then can nobody say different. So if the way I started off my response to a conversation that me and uh, D-Jack had, and if it offended you in any type of way, I'm a man right now. I apologize. I appreciate that. But 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 and to, and to every Jew on my live, I apologize. But one thing about it, you have to know me to know that I wouldn't say nothing like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't mind apologizing, but I'm I'm, I'm cool with apologizing because I know you don't know me. Yeah. So I'm I with, don't. And, and, I, and I'm willing to give that. I would ne- I would never say nothing like that or support anything like that. Yeah. And you got you got I, I, people in the comments po- commenting all the shit like that, just like the, the stuff that is against what you're saying, right? Right. People talking about how like Jews are terrible, shit like that. Um, posting Palestinian flags, which is whatever. Like, you got people doing that, and I know that's not you, right? That's not what you believe. And that you can never say that came out my mouth ever. No, damn right, it never came out your mouth, and it didn't. But I'm just saying, like, from a perspective, from my perspective, that's why it hurt. And I'm not. I'm just trying to be honest with you, because like, how else are we gonna fix shit? Right. Right. Yeah. That's why I don't mind getting on live, bro. Because, because, like I said, if 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 people knew me, then they knew I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I tell them about a story about a guy named Josh Pastner, who was the coach of Georgia Tech, and people need to look up that story and they'll know me. But, you know, I don't mind clearing it up. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I deal with everything with my head up, chest out. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm glad you was able to get on here, bro. And we got, we was able to get an understanding. And, um, because I'm going to continue to fight for equality. I'm going harder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They knew, a lot of people knew what I was speaking on, about how they handled the coop and, and Deshaun Jackson situation is different. And they was trying to deflect from that and make it seem like I hate Jews, which never came out of my mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and I know how they try to twist up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm fine with apologizing for the people that, that, that took my words the wrong way. And I'm fine with explaining myself because I know what's going on. Yeah. And as long as you explain yourself, then ain't got no hard feelings, right, man? You believe in equality for all, and that's what matters. Sir. I wish I had a blunt me, man. I help with you. Nah, it's all good, man. I appreciate you locking in. I'm going I'm to get somebody else in here, bro. Enjoy yourself, man. Be real. What's up, bro? <sighs> SJ in here going live. Hey, y'all, y'all go get on Fat Man School page. I'm finna go on Fat Man School Live. Prince of Peace, what's up, my boy? Hey, how are you? Hey, I, I got this. I, 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 I got to get off right now, sweetheart. Sorry about that. I got to get off. I got to go on uh, Fat Man School Live. Y'all go on Fat Man School Live right now.